Well, first of all, I don't know if any human being on the planet could have inspired us more than Stephen McDonald did to start this whole thing. Um, you know, you're staring courage right in the face. You know, we're out there playing a sport, and you know, people are cheering for us and all that kind of stuff. And uh, you know, there's that gentleman in a wheelchair. I don't think anybody could have said anything more powerful than what he did to help us tonight. Having said that, um, we played a pretty complete game tonight. Uh, you know, I, we looked like a team that was, you know, certainly identifying with what playoff hockey looks like, what we need to do to be successful when we get there. And, um, you know, I, they certainly followed our game plan, no question about that. But, uh, you know, those are the guys that are responsible for what happened out on the ice because they chose to. And um, it was just a well-executed game, I thought. Is it as simple as guys just starting to buy into it? I don't think so. I, you know, it's not a matter of buying in. It's a matter of you know understanding that you've got to sacrifice a little bit of yourself in order to have success. And it's not because guys don't want to buy in. Um, you know, in the heat of the moment, as you're trying to sort of discover yourself as a team, you know, you make decisions that are good and that aren't good. You know, and I think what's happened here in the last month or so is that uh, I, I don't know that it culminates with tonight, but I think this has been a, something that's been in a sort of a, in, in the process for us is that we've been process. We've been more complete oh thinkers, God. you know, of, of what we need to do collectively to have success on the ice. And I think you know tonight's an example of being able to pull that off in a big, big game. How good is Henrik in the last month? Ah. I don't know. He, I don't know. He's just been good. <laughs> I'm not sure. What he, you know, we've. I think I've answered that before. Did he find a new level tonight or whatever? And I, I you know, any. I don't know where, where that level is. He's just been terrific for us. He's been very consistent. Uh, he's been very calm and poised. He gives confidence to his teammates. He's been doing that for a while. I don't know if he took it to a new level tonight. Quite honestly. Uh, uh, the last month. Yeah, I'm sorry. I'm sorry, Jay. Yeah, yeah. You know what? I suppose. You know, I suppose, in fairness to him, I, I, didn't, I don't want to diminish how good he's been for us, but he's he just that good, you know, and for us, at least, he's been that good for a long time, probably since middle of, Christmas, middle of December. When you said to the team, lay out the numbers, you know, the team leader first, and then you know, the You know, somewhat daunting, but certainly, you know, every challenge is worth going after. And, and uh, you know, we needed to give our guys, we thought, some real concrete information. Um, you know, you can be philosophical and pull stuff out of the air and make it sound cool and away you go. But I think what we needed to do with our guys was be real succinct in what we thought it was going to take, you know, to be a playoff team. And beyond that, then obviously a way to play in order to get there. And then the commitment, um, you know, day after day to make sure it happened. And, and uh Again, I, I, the credit goes to the team. I mean, the, the guys have clearly delivered on, you know, what we've asked of them, but also what they've asked of each other, which is probably the most important thing. Is there a game or moment you can point to where things turned around the way Hmm. Um, that's a good question. You know, I, I, I'm not sure. I, you know, the game that really bothered me the most, I think, and it wasn't even a win, it was the, it was the game here against Nashville. And I thought that you know they were a very good team. Um, we didn't we didn't play near good enough to compete with them, and yet we, we were in the game somehow. And I was just disappointed that our you know that we didn't seize that moment. But I think for myself personally, and I think our coaching staff, we sort of looked at that game as the you know uncle, and um, you know we slowly started to identify with what we really thought we had to do with this team and the personnel in it, and. Um, Again, the credit the credit goes to those guys. I mean, we can only sort of say, "Here you go," and they have to accept, you know, the challenge of that. Never mind playing. Well, the team and the personnel have also been a lot different over the course of the season. The additions of some players, a lot of injuries they've had to overcome. Yet the Rangers still in the playoffs for the second straight season and a 40th win for the second straight season. That's the first time that's happened in back-to-back -back years in well over 30 years. Meanwhile, the Devils. 